The FIFA World Cup takes place in Russia this upcoming summer. And here at the Ralph Report, we feel it's our duty to educate as well as entertain. So here is my guide to the FIFA World Cup 2018. Oh, and by the way, it's a competition whose winners can actually say that they're, they're world champions because it's contested by countries rather than teams from just one country. According to FIFA, the world governing body for the sport of association football, the Chinese competitive game Kuju, which is a literal translation of kickball, is the earliest form of football for which there's evidence. But really, modern day football as we know it was invented in England. Whilst the history of football in England dates back to at least the 8th century AD, and here's a picture of the early Liverpool team, Modern rules of football are based on mid-19th century efforts to standardise the widely varying forms of football played in the public schools of England. Fact Attack A game of football is played between two teams of 11 players, 10 outfield players and one goalkeeper per team. Football is the world's most popular sport, boasting over 3.5 billion fans across the world. American football is the world's joint ninth most popular behind table tennis and field hockey. The FIFA World Cup was first held in 1930 when FIFA president Jules Rimet decided to stage an international football tournament. It was won by Uruguay. By the way, it's not pronounced Uruguay anywhere else in the world. Since then, the World Cup has experienced successive expansions and format remodeling to its current 32-team tournament, preceded by two years of qualifying involving over 200 international teams from around the world to be crowned world champions. This year, the World Cup, of course, will be held in Russia. A total of 64 matches will be played in 12 venues located in 11 cities, the final will take place on the 15th of July at the Lushniki Stadium in Moscow. So without the USA being involved, who could you support? For that you should be looking at Brazil, Spain or maybe Lionel Messi will be able to inspire Argentina to take the trophy. Although they were spanked recently by Spain 6-1 but that was without Messi. And as a proud Englishman and a football fanatic, my pick is Germany. No, not England. We're utter, utter shit. The Germans have that characteristic efficiency that you would expect, with a strong defence mixed with a steel in midfield and a flair going forward. And they are also the current world champions. Fact attack. Brazil are the most successful team with five World Cups, or as some would say, winningest. Which is an expression that makes whoever says it sound like a drunk five-year-old trying to learn English for the first time. Italy and Germany have four each, and Uruguay have two. One of the more interesting parts of the competition is the award for the top goal scorer. And this year's favourite is Lionel Messi of Argentina, followed by former Barcelona teammate Neymar Jr. and then greasy Portuguese narcissist Cristiano Ronaldo. Some say that awarding Russia the honour of hosting was due to massive bribery of FIFA officials, but when you look at where the next World Cup is being held, it can only lead you to the belief that, yes, there was massive fucking corruption. So we have a festival of football ahead of us this summer. We hope you enjoy it, although, Seeing as most games kick off between 8am and 2pm, and that's Eastern time, you'll probably miss the whole thing. Yet again. So that was my guide to the 2018 World Cup. I'm Steve Ashton, signing off for The Ralph Report.